that all? Yeah, that's working. Yep. Like it's it? on. I like it. Cool. We're back out here in the wood yard. Mike Cool's no sad. The last video was going to be the last one that we were going to do on the 60C. I'm pretty sure that was you, the boss. I could have said that <laughs> too. So anyways, we're out here again. We're going to show you kind of the other end of it here. Let's let's go this way, Mike. We'll turn All around right, this way so you see your way. handsome face. Yes, sir. So that's the difference that we got. To, we got a lot bigger wood on there. Um, and there's seven pieces on there instead of eight like there was the last time. And if you're trying to figure out this production, uh, I'll leave the link up here in the video on YouTube. And you'll see how just going up a little bit in the diameter size is going to increase your production drastically. Oh, it changes it substantially, especially like even two, three inches is gonna, gonna make it go that much quicker and make that much more wood. So what we're thinking is there's probably a little more than a full cord on there. I would say you're probably, you're probably five face cord on there and around there. I'd say, oh yeah, for sure. And normally the, the way that I kind of figure this out is, is normally in that small stuff, like 10 inches or so, every time that I've blocked it up, a 16 foot log, uh, 10 inches is normally, three of them will end up being about a full cord. A 16 foot log is normally a face cord, normally from what I've, from what I've experienced anyways. So I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure I'll get an opinion on it. So well, everyone's got a different answer for that one. <laughs> but anyways, We'll, we'll call that maybe a cord and a half of say five face cord. We'll show you how fast it goes through here. Running a different diameter of it anyways. Um, and show you how it goes anyways. Yes, sir. It's probably gonna be about half as half as quick as the last time. So, or I guess twice as quick as the last time. That's what we're hoping yeah. for anyways. It's, uh, did you have a good weekend, Mikey? I had a great weekend. Had a nice golf tournament. That's, you were uh, in the golf tournament too, I eh? I was, I seen you there too. What I are see, the odds? I seen you there. <laughs> That's good. I had a good time golfing anyways. I had a great time. What more could you ask for? A bunch of people you, uh, you enjoy being with and uh, golf. Yeah, it was a pretty good time. I'm not, I'm not very good at the game, but I had an awful lot of fun. I don't know about that. You're a lot better than I am. At least you can hit the ball. Sometimes. Yeah. I didn't miss it at all, actually. I don't, I don't think I missed it once in the whole 18 holes. We're I'd doing say all that's, right. that's successful. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, go ahead and give her a big thumbs up and hit the, hit the subscribe button there down on the bottom there in that, that, that region. And me and Mikey will go ahead and run this one through there and show, show you how it works. Yeah, let us know what you think.
Well, Mikey, that went pretty good, I think. A lot better than the last one, that's for sure. Shows, shows you how much the wood makes a difference. That one piece of beech, it wasn't a banana tree by chance, was it? Uh, it might have been, yeah. It was a little crooked, eh? For you lads that are wondering if these things will do crooked wood, that piece of beech was pro probably 16 inches around, and it... I, 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 think, I think that's who, who sure would use it to make their hockey sticks, is that? Yeah, something it, it like must that, be eh? something like that. We could have made some money on that one. <laughs> <laughs> And then like that last piece of oak, you see there's lots of knots on and stuff that we had to yeah. roll around. And then again, the, the very first piece we did, yeah. there were a couple of pieces that we had to adjust. And at that, on that, we were 13 minutes doing that. Um, so we were about six or seven minutes faster than doing the small stuff. Um, and if we take into account, and we, we don't factor in the size difference in the wood, um, like we figured probably, uh, four or five face cord on that uh, on that load or on that live deck there um, we're looking at six full cord an hour let alone actually uh, adjusting the uh, the actual uh, size of the wood like that's exactly. that's exactly. the pile we just did with it right right there so it's 13 minutes so I would say there's probably four or five face cord in there yeah and around there if we if we actually stacked it up so exactly. that that should give you a really good example or, or idea of what to expect out of one of these processors. And the reason why we're doing this is to, uh, to to give you guys a better understanding of what to expect when you get one of these machines. And we can we can tell you all day some sort of crazy number of production, but um, it's really hard for you guys to to base uh, your business model off of a number that's not realistic. Um, and that's exactly it. Nobody wants to be disappointed. So I mean, uh, the the truth and the the real real world situations we're showing you is kind of trying to avoid that situation. That's exactly it. And uh, like this machine, like like I said, we normally advertise three to four full cord an hour out of, out of it is what you're likely going to average with everything going on in your day in your business. Like that, I would think that would be probably a a fair a fair number to give you. Obviously, you're going to get more some days, and obviously, you're going to get less. Um, but that that's kind of the, 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 the big deal with it. And when you go to this, uh, when you go up to the 60C, like, like that one piece of beach that was, that was like that, um, that was a big piece of wood that had an awful crook in. So when you go up into the bigger machine, it just makes handling that, something like that a whole lot easier. Exactly, and that's that's it. The, the, the less you have to get, reach out of that cab, the better. And I mean, the, you can see the rollers help with those knots spin everything right to the top and it just went through the splitter that much smoother yeah no i think uh i think that went pretty well if you guys have any questions dro drop a comment down below let us know what you guys think of it and uh, we really appreciate you tuning in and we really hope to see you on the next one for sure see you guys